Okay, I'm going to go over a few pointers if you're wanting to do a first dance at a wedding. Some of the things that you can do are um, choose your song first. Once you choose your song, then you will know what your rhythm is and you can decide what dance to do. Some people do just a regular slow dance. Some people do a waltz. There's other things that you can do. <clears throat> I think the main thing is you need to figure out what the song is that you want to play that's between you and your husband um, or wife, whichever. <clears throat> and you also need to figure out what type of dress you've got on. If you're gonna wear the wedding dress and go straight to the reception and do the dancing, what type of dress have you got? If you got a big full dress, has it got a train or is it pulled up in the back so it's off the floor? Have you got a straight dress? Have you got a shorter dress that's at your knee or above your knee? Decide those things so that you will know because you don't wanna do a fast waltz if you've got a big, flowing wedding dress because the guy's going to possibly step on your dress. You may fall on your own dress, um, whatever. So think about those things and it, you know, don't panic or anything like that, but just keep those things in mind. Now, if you are interested in doing a waltz, let me show you a few things. You can do a simple waltz, you know, across the floor, that's fine. Or you can do a pattern waltz dance. Whichever. Um, if you're going to do the waltz steps, I'm going to show them to you coming forward and I'm also going to turn around and show them to you from the back view. Um, waltz is counted one, two, three, four, five, six. So with the lady, it's going to be moving with the right foot. If you're going forward, it would be long step, short, short, and then long step, short, short. If you're going backwards, long step, short, short, long step, short, short. If you're going to see the back view, you're going forward, it would be long step, short, short, and if you're going backwards, long step, short, short. Um, you can also go side to side, you could go into the corners, whatever you want to do. Um, I would also suggest that if you're going to do a slow dance instead of a waltz, practice it to the music because all slow dances have different rhythms. It's not the same for each and every song. So you need to really pick up the rhythm that's in the song that you've chosen and decide, do you want to do a box step? Do you want to do one, two, three, one, two, three? Or do you want to do just one, two, three, four? whatever the rhythm is, and then work with that. Um, we're also going to just show you a few waltz steps using some music. One of my favorite songs is Can I Have This Dance? Uh, excuse me, it's Could I Have This Dance? And it's by Ann Murray. So let's put on the music and I'll ask my husband Mark to come in and we'll just show you a few waltz steps. 